Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm back with several different soda gadgets to see how they actually work. Now, all these gadgets have been around for a while. There's reviews out there for them already. People have asked me what I think about them because reviews are pretty mixed. So let's see how these soda gadgets work, including a bonus item I found on clearance at an ASEAN TV store in today's video. Let's take a look and see what we've got. First up, this is a soda dispenser. I have not even opened it up yet. Now, admittedly, this is not very highly rated, but the way it's supposed to work is a Two liter bottle of soda goes here and you have a dispenser right there. I mean, it, it's a simple design. I'm not sure why the reviews are so mixed, but let's find out as we test it out. Next up is soda dispenser number two. This is what it's supposed to look like. Let's open it up. I'll assemble this in a bit, but basically the bottle goes on top and you have a spout right here where you dispense it. So I'll put this together and try it out. Number three is going to be this Fizz Keeper can pump. You just place it over your can, pump it a few times, it repressurizes it and keeps your soda from going flat. And finally, this is my bonus item. I found this at an Etsy on TV store. I only got it for a couple bucks, it was on clearance. It's called the Grab and Pour. I don't see any information on this. It seems like it just no longer exists, but I wanted to try it out. This goes over a soda bottle and provides a handle. It seems like a good idea, but it doesn't seem like it's been very popular based on uh, the clearance price I got it for. So let's get started with the first item and see how it works. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'm gonna go with this one, which is the lowest rate of the bunch. This one has a pretty dismal 2.9 star rate on Amazon. I kind of like the design of it. It just has kind of a nice look to it, although it doesn't stand up on its own. In fact, a lot of people were saying that it tips over. Other people were saying that it doesn't really fit in the fridge easily as well. There's a couple different versions of this spout going around. There's one where this is the off position and you pull it forward to dispense. Others where this is the opposition, so you can actually push the glass in that way or pull it forward. Both of my dispensers have this configuration where this is off. Now normally the way this is supposed to work is this is the opposition and you put your glass up to it, press in and it will dispense and you let go. I'm behind it so that's a little bit of a weird angle so I'm going to pull it forward but normally you press your glass against it that way. This one doesn't have very good re reviews, but I, maybe I can get it to work, we'll see. So let's grab our first two liter bottle of soda. I'll use my master opener to open it up. All right, now this one does have a gasket in there that I placed in there. I mean, there's, not, there's no instructions at all, by the way, none. No instructions whatsoever. All right, so I guess what I'm supposed to do is just twist it on the top. That seems pretty, pretty tight. Oh, it's leaking out. We got a leak. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I end up leaking some of the soda out, but I still think I got enough to test this out. So here we go. Now that I've got this all situated, let me try it out. Oh, well, you know, it's working. It's a bit foamy, but it is working. It seems like it's kind of slowing down. You know, it's actually not terrible. Let me see if I can do it below the table here. Maybe it's designed to be off the table. So this is so slow, you can actually put the handle up automatically and just wait for it. It's very slow. And the bottle's still only about half full, so it seems like as you get down to the bottom, it really kind of dribbles out. That takes a long time to pour a cup. All right, I think we're done. I just want to try and see how slow it goes to the very end here. Just open it up. See, it's, right now it's just dribbling out. That is dribbling. That is a dribble. And this is how much soda's in there. So there's still a decent amount left, but look how slow it's going. I'm guessing once the soda line gets below that, it's not gonna come out anymore. Well, that's about it. I think that's, that's it. And we have all that left. So it's not even gonna dispense an entire bottle. It's done. It is done. All right, let's try the next dispenser. It can't be worse than the last one, right? So we have a gasket to put there, a gasket to put in here. I guess snaps on. All right, so the spout goes on here. I'll make sure this one's nice and tight. Well, that's pretty tight. I feel like I'm gonna break it, it's that tight. Put this on top. Why do I have a bad feeling about this one too? I mean, it was higher rated, not much higher, but a little bit higher rated. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now we're supposed to flip it over. Let's see what we got. All right, well, so far so good. Now I've got to poke a pinhole in this one as well. All right, my pinhole is poked. I don't have any leaks. Uh, not terrible, not terrible. It's working. It's very foamy, but it's working. Let me, uh, let me keep trying here. I'm going to dispense as much as I can. It comes out pretty foamy, but it's not, it's not unbearable. I'm going to dispense several glasses worth and see how it goes. Very foamy. That's glass number one. Glass number two. Let me see if I just go all the way up. How much foam we get. 
and it's pretty full. That is a lot of foam. Let's see how much actual soda we get in that cup after it goes down. So this is how much it dispenses before you actually have to put some more in there. That's a lot of foam, not much soda. I'm going as slow as I can, no matter what I do, it's just gonna be foamy. All right, I mean, you know, it's, it, it works. It, is it ideal? Probably not. I think soda will get flat in here because you got a hole in the end. It's not gonna stay cold, but I think maybe in some situations it could work. All right, off the edge of the table for this one now, let's see, we got very foamy at first. Is it gonna stay foamy? A lot of foam, a lot of foam. And we're, we're full. Look how much foam was in there. Two thirds foam at this point. My third gadget are the Fizz Keeper can pumps. I got th uh, three of these for 20 bucks. It's an Amazon's choice. They claim that it repressurized cans of soda. It, make, it fits most cans, color-coded to help you identify which can is yours. They say it saves you money by not having to throw out flat soda. This one is also mixed reviews on Amazon. People seem to like it or say that it doesn't work or it doesn't create a seal. I started this test yesterday so I can do a 24-hour test. So let's flash back and see how that went. Let's take a look at the can pump, shall we? Now here is one of them out of the package. All right, let me start with this empty can now. It just supposedly slips over the top of that, which it does pretty easily and then you're supposed to press it down until you hear two clicks that was two clicks then all you're supposed to do is press the button which supposedly pressurizes the can and when you're done you use this tab pull up oh yeah that that was pressurized i wonder what happens if i crumple the can a little bit and see if i can push that outward just to see if it is pressurized pretty well put it back on there oh yeah it's pushing outward All right, that, that works pretty well. Anyways, let's, let's get to our test here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take two soda cans, I'm gonna empty half of them out. I'm gonna put them both in the fridge, one with the can pump, one without, and we'll check them again tomorrow and see how it goes. I'm gonna pour equal amounts in here, so we'll be fair about this. All right, they were equally empty. Now, let me add a can pump to one of these. All right, two clicks. Let me see, does it leak? It shouldn't leak. It's not leaking. All right, it's not leaking, that's good. They say to press the pump three to four times. That's what I'll do. One, two, three, four. All right, these are going to the fridge. I'll come back tomorrow and see how they turned out. All right, here we are. Now the cans have been in the fridge for 24 hours. So let me uh, see what we got here. Here is the uncovered can. Let's see how fresh that one looks. Surprisingly, there's still a little bit of, a little bit of uh, bubbles in there. Let's see how the can pump worked. I didn't really feel a big release of, uh, of air. Let's see. All right, it's probably a little bit better. I guess I was expecting more than that. For some reason, when I released the pressure, unlike yesterday when I felt a big pop, it really didn't feel like that. Maybe the, maybe the air kind of leaked out. Let me taste these. This is the uncovered can. Not the freshest I've ever tasted, but not completely flat. Fizz Keeper next. Roughly the same. I'm a little bit disappointed. I think that that seal just did not hold for 24 hours. It maybe as the can changed uh, temperature in the fridge, it maybe broke the seal. I don't know. It doesn't seem like I got much of an advantage over 24 hours. So I'm kind of disappointed. All right, so after I turned the camera off yesterday, I decided to put a second one in the fridge last night, just in case. So let me grab that one. All right, so this one's been in there for about 23 hours. I pumped it eight times instead of four. I figured I'd add a couple extra variables in case the first one didn't really go well, and it didn't. So let's see if, first of all, if this one actually leaks. Okay, it's not leaking. That's a good sign. Let me see if there's any air release here. Oh, wow. Now that didn't happen the first time. The first time there was no air release. This time there was a big explosion. And it does seem to have more foam than the first time. So as I suspected, based on some of the Amazon comments, some people were saying there were duds among the batches. It seems like my first one lost a seal overnight, my second one didn't. So it's a bit inconsistent. I like the idea of it when it works, but I'm kind of disappointed both of them didn't work. Let's move on to my bonus item now. This is the grab and pour, which I paid a couple bucks for. Now the way this one's supposed to work is you have your two liter bottle of soda here and it just fits over the top here, just like this. And then there's a kind of a gap, so when you squeeze it together, it's gonna hold the soda bottle. Let's see how much it holds it. All right, well, that's pretty good. So I guess if you're pouring it, let's pour it into a glass here. Pick it up by the grab and pour. Now I got it on a handle, which is kind of nice. 
Well, you know, actually it, it does provide a pretty good grip. Feels like it holds it pretty securely too. Um, the handle probably isn't the most comfortable because you're kind of squeezing it while you're holding on to it. But on the other hand, it does, it seems easier than just holding it by the sides. I don't know, I kinda, maybe I kinda like this one better of all the others. This is my bonus cheap items on clearance. Looks like it wouldn't take up too much room in the fridge. I'm gonna walk around a little bit with this and see if it's actually gonna stay secure. Right now it seems like it's in place. What happens when I walk around a little bit? Let's check it out. I was just wondering like outside when you're at a picnic or something, you can use this not only to carry around with you when you're walking, but I wanna see uh, if I swing this around a little bit, if it's gonna fall out. It works pretty well in a controlled environment. How about out here? Say we're at a picnic. Hey, what's going on? It's not falling. It is not falling. I think it holds it pretty well. Should I open this up? Maybe not. In the end, I'm gonna say I wasn't really that impressed with any of these, although I think that the two dispensers worked better for me than it did for some people online. Although this one won't even dispense an entire bottle, this one at least will because it's above the, the line of the spout. But both of them kind of dribble out when it, as it gets lower. Both of them seem like they're foaming in the beginning. So I don't know, they're not perfect. And they're gonna, they're gonna go flat because there's a hole in there and you can't take the bottle off there and put it, put it away because there's a hole in there. Maybe for some situations, but certainly not all. I feel like in both these cases though, they kind of solve a problem that doesn't really exist. I would pick this one over this one, but really I'm not sure if I would really pick either one. All right, as far as the can pump goes, I'm a bit mixed about this one. The first one didn't really go so well. The second one did that kind of echoes what people on amazon were saying that some of their batch worked some of their batch didn't i have about a 50 percent success rate so i don't know i guess it would be good for keeping bugs out of the cans even if it doesn't work but i'm kind of on the fence about this one and as far as my bonus item goes this is probably my favorite of the bunch i got it for a couple bucks it does seem to provide a purpose unlike some of the others here this one i can see some people wanting to use but that's all i've got if you've tried this product tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time Sounds like something from an early 2000s song. It's like some Linkin Park thing or something.